What's up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. I have some random merch that I happen to get from Japan from a variety of sources. Some of these items were purchased brand new from the original source, and I got them through Japanese international shipping. Some of them were purchased through resellers on websites like eBay, Mercari, or Yahoo Japan, kind of just depending. So I pretty much threw everything in a bag and I wanted to unbox it for you today just to show you all this random stuff that I'm adding to my collection from Japan. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all the things for you and we will review them so you can see what I decided to purchase. Okay, I have everything unboxed so I can finally show you all the things. So let's go ahead and start with some items that I've actually used these many times since I purchased them, but I wanted to include them in this unboxing so you can see some of the cool stuff you can get from Japan. So these are three different cloth face masks that I had purchased from the Sailor Moon store. The nice thing about these is they do feature a pocket for your filter if you want to put a filter inside of them and there were three different ones that i had purchased one is this hot pink with a bunch of sailor moon icons this light pink version that has silhouettes of the inner guardians and this black one which has a silhouette of sailor moon also they have nice elastics to go around your ears so they aren't uncomfortable or anything and yeah they've worked out really great for me this past year so i wanted to share those with you i also purchased a few items from the sailor moon musical that happened last year this is a lanyard and i just love the colors in this lanyard and that's why i bought it i just love all the colors so we have these really pretty pastel colors on the interior of the lanyard and then on the outside you get these really bright colors and it's just this beautiful rainbow of color we we also have the planetary symbols for the Inner Sailor Guardians. This is the musical logo. It was about Princess Kaguya, all the planetary symbols there. And then basically the same thing on the second side. Very, very pretty. So I really like this lanyard. It's simplistic, but I love the rainbow of colors. This is a random clear file that I happened to pick up from Japan, which features a whole bunch of imagery from the Eternal movies. And on the back we have Sailor Moon Eternal. Simple clear file, but one I wanted to add to my collection. Isn't this pretty? Look at how beautiful this booklet is. This is from the musical as well. So the musical is called Musical Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Kaguya Hime's Beloved. It's barely been opened. The binding is brand new. I love that it has some manga art from Naoko. There's a message in here from Naoko Takeuchi from 2021. And this also has a bunch of greetings, interviews, some storylines. Look at that art. Oh my gosh, look at the musical artist. So good. It has pages about each of the different actors. Her costume is just amazing. I feel like anybody who's interested in cosplay, you'd probably really like a booklet like this because you could definitely get some inspiration out of this. They do some really good booklets about the musicals. Even though I'm not huge into the musicals, I still really like collecting some of the items because they're very inspirational. Maybe one day I'll cosplay again. Look at Saturn, she's so adorable. I love her costume. Wow. She looks amazing, Snow Kaguya, Snow Dancers, the whole cast is in here, Tuxedo Mask. And then there's some adverts at the end showing some of the merchandise that you could have gotten in the last year. I also decided to snag a couple of items from the Sailor Moon store, including this adorable little bag. It's like a lunch bag or a lunch tote, which features Luna on the front of it. I just like the art. I think the art is really adorable. This is from the birthday celebration. This item was also fairly easy to find. I don't think a lot of people really wanted it or wanted to collect it, but I did just because it comes with this really cute purse. So Anna Sui, every year, does a collaboration with Sailor Moon. I don't usually collect these items because I find I'm not usually interested in the designs of the products, although they're very cute. It's just not my personal taste, but I like this design because it has an image of Sailor Moon and it looks like a manga image. So let's go ahead and open this. 
and check out what it looks like. This collaboration book was also included and this is basically just an advertisement book that has a little bit of art on the inside but it also features some pictures of the merchandise and some of the Anna Sui merchandise that you could have purchased last year. Oh look, there's the Sailor Moon store. Wow. I've never seen it that empty. You know, I was kind of hoping this would be embroider, not print, but still cute nonetheless. So this is a very, very small bag, probably just a little carry bag. So you can stick your wallet and your phone in here and that's about it. So relatively small, but it does feature Eternal Sailor Moon and that is a manga illustration. So I do like that part. Um, overall, I would say though, the Anna Sui special collaboration book is underwhelming and this is a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. I don't remember how much I paid for this. Hopefully it was not much because I don't think it's worth that much. So I have a friend that lives in Tokyo and sometimes he sends me over like random Sailor Moon stuff. And this is one of those times. I'm not sure if these are from Family Mart or 7-Eleven, but they are small little like soup cups. <laughs> that he had purchased. I just love that the outside of them feature Fuku's. That's so cute. So we have Saturn, Eternal Sailor Moon, and Mamoru, Tuxedo Mask. Okay, before I get into the Ichiban Kuji from last year, which I only collected a couple of items from, I did want to mention this, which I believe was only available through game centers. So like Crane Games. She's just so cute. I love this galaxy print going on on Luna, and she's so big and plushy and adorable. Her face looks a little bit dead inside, but that's okay because I, I just love the print. I think it's so pretty. Honestly, if they put this galaxy print on like several different Luna plushies. I know they put it on two, not sure about any other ones. I would definitely buy all of them because they're adorable. It's called Starry Planet, pre-magical. So there's the tag for it. And the last items from this haul are all from Ichiban Kujis. Now Ichiban Kujis usually happen at places like Family Mart, 7-Eleven, the convenience stores, Konbini in Japanese. And uh, what you do is you go to these stores, you get tickets, and, and these tickets allow you to draw a prize. And depending on which ticket you get, you will end up with a specific prize. Some prizes are more rare than others, but generally these things are pretty easy to get online as long as you're not getting the last chance items specifically because those are generally a little bit harder. Uh, this was a last chance item that I had found on Yahoo Japan Auctions and I found it for a decent price. So I ended up picking up her because she's the special color. These two are from a different Ichiban Kuji, but both of them feature the same artwork. One is a purse and one is a silk scarf. These were honestly the only items that I wanted from this specific Ichiban Kuji. The rest of the items I wasn't really super excited about. Ooh, it's so big. Oh, yay. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So here we have some very big art of Usagi as well as Luna. The colors on here are really, really beautiful and I love how shiny this silk scarf is. Oh, look at her purse. Her hollow purse is so pretty. That's the hollow purse that I got. And she's wearing this silk scarf around her neck. That's so cute. It's very meta. At the bottom it says, Sail Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal. There is a little tag on the back showing that it's by Bandai. This is called the Happy Girls Collection. And then I also picked up the purse because I love hollow purses. So here's the tag for this purse. This was the B price and it does feature the same art as what we saw on the scarf. Ooh, I like that it's a little bit more flexible than the previous hollow purse that they came out with. Uh, I do have an older one that was from, I wanna say the Sailor Moon store, or maybe it was from a Taiwan pop-up shop. I don't remember, but it was a little bit more sturdy and was not as flexible as this one. So this one does come with a gold chain for your shoulder. And then we also have the hollow purse. Now there were a few different like makeup bags that you could stick inside of here with different art on the front of them and on the back of them. They also came with the same Ichiban Kuji, but I didn't want those prizes. I just wanted the purse itself. So of course it's hollow all around. And on the front we have a logo which says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal. And we also have the Crisis 
Moon Compact. All right, last but definitely not least is this last chance item, which is from the Princess Collection. So different Ichiban Kuji for this one. And this is the last chance item, which means it's more rare because they only have one at each store. But with that said, this one ended up being pretty easy to find online, even though like, all of us fans were raving about it. Maybe people just didn't like it or something, I don't know. But I saw plenty of pictures, so I know I'm going to like it as long as it's made right. So the only difference between this version, which is the last chance version, and the version that was more common at the stores, at the Combini, is the fact that this one has like a pearlescent color sheen to it. So I think a lot of people probably looked at this and were just like, it's too similar to the other prize that you could get. Okay, so we have her little, pedestal and then we also have Sailor Moon. How does she sit on here? Oh, she just sits on it. Here is the Ichiban Kuji last prize from the Princess Collection. I really like her face. I love that her face is very detailed. Like her eyes have a lot of detail to them. They're not just like one blue color. There's a little bit of shadowing going on there. She actually has an expression, so she doesn't look dead. And there is a bit of pearlescent color going on with her dress, but honestly, it's not that much. It's not super, super persistent. It's not super obvious that there's a pearlescent sheen going on. There's a little flaw in her hair right there, a little speck right there. I might be able to get it off. I think I just got it off. So cool. She is very pretty though. Look at her bow, so cute. Now I can take her off. She just sits on top of the pedestal. There's nothing happening there to like click her into place or anything like that, but she's well made. So quite happy with her. Really glad that I was able to snag one. Now, again, I did not buy a bunch of items from these Ichiban Kujis, mostly just because I don't want to overwhelm myself with a bunch of items that I can't necessarily display in my room. So I just stuck with the very few items that really spoke to me in both of these Ichiban Kujis. But again, you can oftentimes find a lot of these items through resellers on like Yahoo Japan, for example. So that is my random Sailor Moon haul of a bunch of items from Crane Game Centers and random collaborations and Ichiban Kujis and wherever else I could get these items from. Let me know if you have any questions about these purchases. I'll be happy to answer your questions down below. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Jane.